Hello everybody and welcome to day four of my beginner sewing course. Today we're going to be learning about patterns, how to read patterns, what they are, how to assemble them, all of that good stuff. And I have my computer here so I'm going to be able to show you exactly what I mean. So let's get into it. So I've got my computer here and I'm just going to uh, screen record. So as you can see here, um, I have my birthday dress folder opened and that's my own pattern that I sell on Etsy. Uh, it's actually a dress that I made for my birthday. There it is. It's this one. I'm going to put some pictures so you can see what it looks like. Um, I have it in three different formats, so A0, A4, and uh, letter. If you're in the US, you're going to use letter. Uh, if you're in Europe, I'm pretty sure it's A4. And if you have a big ass printer, <laughs> you can use A0, but most people at home uh, have a regular home printer. So yeah, you're going to be using uh, either A4 or letter. Um, yeah, so the difference between A4 and letter is just the paper that you're going to use. So if you buy a uh, letter format of paper, then that's the format that you should print on your machine. If you use A4, then you use the other format. So I guess I'm going to start by showing you um, A0 and what that looks like. And this is it. As you can see, it's a uh, really big and there's no cuts. So you don't have to cut it and tape it. You just print it like that and then you're ready to put it on your fabric and cut it. So if you look here at the legend at the top right, uh, you can see all the sizes that we have. So there's a size, it goes from size zero to size 18 and they're all color coded. Um, I also added the seam allowances in there to make it easier. Um, and here you can see it tells you uh, the little arrow here says grain line. We learned what that meant in the last video. Uh, if you want a reminder, it's just that when you place your pattern piece on your fabric, it has to be parallel to the salvage. And if you remember what the salvage is, it's basically the edge of your fabric that isn't raw. And here we have a notch. Um, we also learned what that meant in the last video. Uh, so we have a notch here at the under bust uh, skirt piece and one here at the bust pieces. And that just shows you exactly how to align um, those two pieces together. Here we have a scale test box. And that just means that when you print this pattern out, you're gonna take a ruler and see if that square is one inch by one inch. And if it is, then you can move on, you can cut the pattern. If it's not, that means that the settings on your printer um, are wrong and you're gonna have to fix that before you print it again because if you don't, then your dress is not gonna be uh, the right size. Uh, as you can see here, uh, those two pieces say cut on the fold. We also learned what that meant in the last video and it's just basically when you're cutting it, you fold your fabric in half and you place that edge right here on that fold line so that when you cut it, you can open this part up and it's just going to be like this, but twice. So yeah, like it's just going to be this, but mirrored. That makes more sense. <laughs> and here we have the sleeves. Uh, we have a big piece and then a small piece. It just gives that little butterfly effect. It's super cute. And yeah, as you can see, it says cut one fabric on the fold and cut one lining on the fold. So for this project, you have to buy your main fabric and then your lining. As you can see on the dress, um, the sequin is my main fabric. And then this black uh, fabric is my lining. So that's what you have to do on all these uh, that's what you have to do on all these pieces but you don't always need lining um, as you can see on the sleeves it says cut to fabric so the fabric is just the lace yep that was a little glitch and also it says here at the top um, that seam allowance is added uh, and it's always half an inch for my patterns unless I tell you otherwise so now let's take a look at A4 um, we have the same legend here at the top. Uh, all the sizes are color coded. We have our grain line again, our notch, 
uh, it says the seam allowance is included again, uh, half an inch. And then again, you'll need to test the scale test box and make sure it is one inch by one inch. We also have a ruler at the top uh, to help you. There's like dashed lines here and you can see the corners. And that just means that when you're going to print it, um, you wanna align all those corners. So here it's easier to see. So when you cut this part, right, you're gonna cut it on the line. Then you're gonna align those two triangles. And when you do that, um, all those lines are going to come together. Here you can see there is another notch. That is the grain line arrow. Cut on the fold. All these same things coming back again. Uh, this one is the letter size. As you can see, it's very, very similar. Um, the edges look a little different, but that's the only thing that's different. Uh, everything else is the same. We can take a look if you would like. So once again, you just cut it right here and then the lines are just gonna come together. And you can see all these uh, letters and that shows you how to arrange them. So let's say you're working on the floor, which is what I do. I'm just gonna put all the pattern pieces on the floor and that's how I know um, where they go. So I just follow the letters, but um, my patterns also come with an arrange guide. So it just tells you exactly how you're supposed to, to place them. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is my arrange guides for A4 and for letter. The reason why I don't have one for A0 is because you don't need to arrange them. Like I said before, you just print it on a big piece of paper. So no need to cut and tape. So yeah, this tells you exactly how to do it. So you place A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. And then when you come to B, it's a new, um, a new line. Then it goes all the way to B6 and then same thing with C, all until C5. Yeah, and for a letter, it's a little different, but very similar. And yeah, I mean, seeing these two together shows you exactly why it's important that you choose the right paper, because if you don't, uh, it's not gonna match. Um, now we can take a look at uh, the instruction booklet. Um, most patterns are going to come with some sort of instructions. Sometimes it's going to be a video. I also have a video um, to go along with my pattern. But yeah, uh, some instructions are not going to be very clear. So yeah, <laughs> sometimes you just got to figure out the most part on your own. So that's why, that's why I try to make mine very, very beginner friendly. Um, here I have my table of content. So we have a shopping list, uh, tips to help you sew, sizing instructions, printing instructions, pattern assembly that I already showed you, cutting instructions, and then sewing instructions. So this is the shopping list. It tells you exactly how much fabric you need. And yeah, so main fabric, lace, and then lining. So yeah, you can just go to your fabric store and buy all of that very easily. So I add tips, but that's because um, like, you're supposed to be working with stretch with stretch fabric on this pattern and that's not always easy so like these are all tips to help you do that sizing instructions um when you're gonna buy a pattern it's the same thing as like when you're shopping online you gotta find your sizes and sometimes that can be difficult so i'm just explaining here how to take them uh you will need a uh tape measure that's my size chart for my pattern and here are my printing instructions i'm going to show you how to do that uh, after this pattern assembly you've already seen this then cutting instructions uh, right here i'm telling you exactly uh, how many pieces to cut uh, depending on the pattern piece you're uh, using so the front that's one piece on the fold and then one piece on the lining so two and then for the bust two pieces of main fabric two pieces of lining so four you get the gist. And here I'm telling you uh, little tips on how to cut your fabric. Now we're getting to the sewing instructions. As you can see, um, there's a lot of words. Uh, that's not very common in sewing instructions, like I said. But yeah, I mean, when I was starting, I remember I was so confused with sewing instructions. It They just don't explain much, right? They expect you to know everything and that's super hard. So I feel like using more words, like even though you don't need to, uh, it's just easier to read and it makes you feel less frustrated. So yeah, uh, they also come with uh, illustrations. 
yep yep and then a little thank you and i always ask people to um take a photo of them and tag me on instagram that hasn't happened yet but maybe one day and here are all my socials yay okay so let's say you wanted to print letter size all you have to do is go uh file and then print that's not the right one that's the right one so choose uh the right printer then one copy i mean unless you want more uh then all pages of course double-sided no you don't want that now us letter right that's it tells you even here um, the dimensions of the paper. So make sure that your paper is US letter if you're using this pattern. Uh, this is the right orientation. And then scale, uh, always choose scale and then 100%. Uh, you can also just say actual size. If you don't, uh, then that test square is not gonna match. And then you'll know that it's wrong. So that's what I mean when I say that your printer settings need to be, um, need to be right. So if they're at 100%, you're going to be okay. And that's not just for my pattern. That's for every pattern. Yeah. And then you just print and you're all done. Uh, super easy. I recommend using scotch tape if you're going to tape your patterns together because you can see the lines uh, under the scotch tape because it's transparent. Okay. So now let's get into uh, symbols that you might find on a sewing pattern, how to recognize them and how to know what they mean. So cutting lines, uh, cutting lines are just the lines that you're supposed to cut when you're cutting your pattern. Mine, as you can see, were um, color coded, but you're going to see very often uh, cutting lines that are dotted. So like, let's say uh, the first size might just be a regular line, but the next size might be a dotted line, then dot slash dash, you know, you get the gist. I'm going to put a, I'm going to put an example here so you can see what I mean. And yeah, some patterns actually come with layers, so you can choose only the size that you want and get rid of all the other layers, so all the other sizes. So when you're printing it uh, and cutting it, it's just super easy to just find your own size. Um, notches, uh, you could see notches on my pattern. They're usually little triangles. Uh, sometimes they're just like a, a dashed line that's like vertical. Um, and yeah, it's just the matching point. And you're gonna see if it's a front notch it's gonna be like one triangle or one line but it's a if it's a back notch it's gonna be two triangles or like two little lines so that's how you can tell the difference cut on the fold now you probably are tired of me saying that you know what that means fold your fabric in two and uh put the line on the folded edge um cut two uh now you also know what that means it just means cut two of that pattern piece so either uh, lining or main fabric it's going to tell you and yeah the best way to do that is to actually fold your fabric like you do when you cut on the fold but don't actually put it on the fold line just put it in the middle like that you cut it and there's two pieces so you don't have to do it twice two birds one stone the grain line you know what that means too the arrow telling you how to place your pattern on your fabric following the salvage uh, and they should all face the same direction so be careful Bias cut, uh, remember that's two arrows, each parallel to the grain line and the cross grain. And it's at a 45 degree angle, that's the true bias. And yeah, it's just gonna give your garment a nice drape. So if if your pattern calls for bias cut, make sure you cut it on the bias or else it's gonna look ugly. <laughs> Not trying to be rude, but it will. Lengthen and shorten lines. Um, a pattern is usually made for a person that's of average size. Uh, but if you're tall, you might want to make the dress longer. And if you're short, you might want to make it shorter. So it'll tell you exactly where to do that. A dart, you're going to see the two dart legs reaching the dart point, uh, usually in dashed lines as well. And it's going to look like a triangle. Uh, they just take away excess fabric to adjust to the shape of your body, uh, especially around the waist, bust and hips. Buttons and buttonholes, there is a symbol for that and it'll tell you the exact placement on where you're supposed to place them or else if you do it yourself, it might not be straight uh, unless you use a ruler, but it's always good to follow the pattern, but you can be creative with it if you want. Uh, the bust point, that's, I don't see that very often on a pattern, uh, but it's basically where the nipple is supposed to sit. And that's basically it for uh, symbols and patterns. Now you know how to cut them, how to assemble them, um, how to read them. 
and hopefully you'll be able to recognize all these new symbols that you just learned. So yeah, what I suggest you do is just write in your Bible uh, all the new symbols and write the description, how to recognize them, and yeah, just keep track of everything you learned. If you would like to see more examples of sewing patterns but you don't want to pay to see them, uh, you can go on Mood Fabrics. They have a lot of free patterns and yeah, look at the the less complex ones because there are some that are really complex. So just start with the basics and try to recognize all the new symbols and yeah, that'll, that'll be like a little test for you, your homework. So before you move on to the next video, just make sure you're comfortable with all these new terms and that you know what they mean and you're comfortable with uh, seeing a pattern, understanding what it means, uh, the type of paper you're supposed to use, uh, printer settings and all, all that good stuff. But I think you're ready. I have faith. If you're still here, then that means you really want to do this. So I will see you in day five.